and like I said, it is really good to share. So, sometimes I get some pretty nasty comments on there about like someone, this person wasn't being nasty, but they wrote this lengthy thing about how near-death experiences can't be true. And when people are talking about it, it's blasphemy. I mean, he was actually very respectful, but it seems like he did a lot of research to prove his point. And, you know, at some point I'm thinking, man, like, you know, I really appreciate how much effort this guy put into it, but it seemed, well, I don't, I almost want to say to him, you should try a treatment with me because it seems, even though all his words were saying near-death experiences aren't true and it's blasphemy, it just seemed he was, something in him was looking for something. And it, you know, it is a big leap to go from what you've learned in religion when you're young to this experience because there's, there's, you know, it's just like a gap of faith and a gap of trust that, and then when you feel it, it's like, oh, that's the thing I've been looking for. And I had a feeling with this guy that would have been that way, but I decided not to, and maybe I will now, maybe this will give me the, the courage and the bravery to say, you know, maybe you might want to try it because, you know, when someone has so much energy on something, e even if they're against it, it's like there's there's some sort of connection there. So he had a connection with it, and in his mind, he was making it, you know, he was trying to make it religious, and it's not religious, it's spiritual.